What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, I went and bought some new wheels for my 2020 GR Supra. So basically they're uh, Enki, Enkai, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, GTC 02 wheels. And I purchased the wheels from another uh, 890 Supra owner, the brand new. So I can't exactly give you details of, you know, how much they cost and where you could buy it from. Basically, um, from what he told me was, uh, he ordered them specifically from Japan. So, you know, yay, overnight parts from Japan, right? Other than that, let's go over the wheels. So sit back, relax, grab something to drink, and I will catch you in a second. All right, y'all, here's the packaging that comes in. Uh, basically, it comes in like this. I've already moved it for the bottom. Um, and here's the side, so your information right here. It's a 19 by nine and a half in the front with an offset of 27 and the rays, it's the same diameter, however, the offset's uh, 25. And here's the rear, it's a 19 by 10 and a half in the rear with a 34 offset, and it's the same thing for the uh, gram likes, it's a 34 offset in the back. So um, these wheels are already spoken for by another A90 owner in New Jersey, so I'll link up with him next weekend. And basically that's what it looks like right there. And honestly, the only reason why I, I purchased this is because the, the owner there, that I bought these wheels from. He had to sell his A90 and I decided, you know, it's it's a one for one swap. So basically uh, I'm not really spending any extra money, but in any case, let's unpackage it. Let's see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, super excited. All right, y'all, let's take this apart and see what it looks like. So come in here, open this up and let's step on in and see what it looks like. So. Basically you have this little cardboard protector right here. You have a nice uh, cover and let's check out what it looks like. So there it is. So once again, the uh, Enkai, Enki GTC 02, sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, if you put in the comments, I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, these are a matte MAT uh, forging process and these are in uh, matte black. So let's pull out a box and let's um, kind of show you the highlights of this particular wheel. All right, so every box comes supplied with uh, two of these um, Enki Racing prototype decals you can affix to your wheel. Here's your owner's manual. It is in both uh, kanji, Japanese, and English, your valve stem, and your center cap. And the cool thing about the center cap is it has a little hole in here, so when it's mounted to the wheel, you can actually uh, take it off without you know pulling the wheel off the car itself. And here is the rear wheel, and here's the front wheel. Um, once again, being that it is wider, it's going to be more concaved in here to where this is more flush. And some of the neat features with this wheel itself is you have uh, weight reduction cuts right here, right here. So scalloping of the metal to reduce weight and same thing inside here. Uh, it's also recessed inside here. And let's uh, flip it to the side and I'll show you some other features of that. All right, y'all, once again, this is the, uh, the rear tire or wheel rather. So this is what I was talking about, the MAT, the MAT process. And from my, my Google search, basically what it is, it's, it's a semi-forged wheel. So it's a casting, once it's casted, it's uh, forged out into the shape form of it. So once again, you know, if you're interested, um, check out that process right there on uh, Enki's website. Um, and another neat feature is right here, the finish is, is, is different. So uh, basically what that is, is it just provides um, you know, a rougher texture for when the tire seats to the wheel itself. So that's pretty cool right there. And if we go inside your barrel, you got some uh, decal stickers right there. And you have some more uh, lightning cuts or rate reduction cuts right here. And right here inside um, your wheel. So that's pretty much it. And let's talk about the, uh, the concentric hub. All right. So the hub inside here, the, the uh, wheel hub, let's just say it's 60 millimeters for OEM. And let's say on the inside, it's 70 millimeters. So you would grab, uh, basically it's a spacer that goes over that to match the 70 millimeter diameter. These are just arbitrary numbers I'm making up. Um, the point of that is, is basically uh, aids in alignment to make sure you have perfect fitment. And when it comes to the, the Supras, it's really not required. And I'm gonna show you why. So here is your stud right here. This is a female end when it comes to uh, the Supra, you know, it's a European design. So basically, instead of studs sticking out where you screw this in, it's the opposite where it's a male end to where you actually uh, screw that into your hub right there. And um, if you look here, as you see, it's concaved. 
and you look in there, same thing, right? It's recessed to where when you put it in, it's gonna automatically line your wheel with the hub um, itself. Cause being that it's not a flat surface, it's gonna you know push everything and line it up. So, uh, you know, other A90 owners I know with TE37s and Gram lights, they don't use uh, a hub on there to match. It's perfectly fine. And once again, with the studs um, that go into there, it's gonna make everything line up with the uh, concave feature of this itself right here. Boom. So if you wanna get it, go ahead. Like I said, I don't know what the inner diameter uh, of this is inside here, but I believe for the Super, it's like 66.3 millimeters. All right, y'all, so somewhere up here, I'm gonna put the weight for the OEM wheels, which are forged. Once again, these uh, Gram Light 57 FXEs, they're flow form, so it's kind of like semi-forged. I'll put the weight for that also somewhere up here. And let's weigh these because these wheels supposedly replace the uh, NK PF ones or something like that, and they're super light wheels. So this is the newest generation from NK, from what I understand. So let's uh, get our scale up and running here. Three, two, one. I don't know if you can see that, but that's 22.6 pounds. All right, y'all, I got the front wheel. Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one. 22.4. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this quick and fast review. Once again, it's close to a two pounds weight savings um, compared to the OEM forge wheel and also my Raise 57 FXZ. Um, that's less rotating mass, so you're gonna have better acceleration and better braking um, due to the weight loss. So, and overall in the car, you know, that's an eight pound, yeah, eight pound weight saving. So that's not a bad thing right there in itself. Um, as, once again, you know, if you are interested in these wheels, I would highly uh, suggest that you search the internet. I, you know, these were a private purchase. The original owner uh, special ordered these from Japan. Um, other than that, I will be doing a second video to show you some cinematics, see what it looks like on, on the car and you know while it's rolling and all that stuff uh, you know hopefully you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up it's free doesn't hurt anyone and if you want to follow more mods um, on my supra go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button that'll help me out a lot too other than that you know just leave a comment on there and uh that's all good too but uh yeah man just uh be good take it easy and i will catch you guys next time peace